I gotta, I gotta, I gotta use my voice. It was straining my brain. Here is the question. Now remember, we are manipulating formulas. Don't be confused by this quite yet, okay? In fact, I should cover it. Um, here's the situation. In the morning, you consumed 640 calories of donuts. You decided, because you're on a calorie diet, to consume 4,000 calories by lunchtime. You know that uh, there is 100 or there are 140 calories per can of Dr. Pepper. So how many cans do you need to drink in order to reach your goal? Sounds simple enough. Given the fact that we have 140 calories per can, that is a linear relationship because every can you drink equals 140 calories. All right, so this is the linear relationship formula, y equals mx plus b. This tutorial is not about linear relation formula. I'm just choosing this because it's very important anyways. Okay, so how many cans do you got to drink? Now, if we, if we did some super graph, kind of like this, right? You know, we would have one can, two cans, three cans, four, whatever, and so on. And we'd have, you know, the calories. Well, we're starting at 640 calories, and then we're going up by 140. So, you know, linear relationships is a big line, kind of like that. So, we would have, you know, we can have one point here and one point here in order to get what we're looking for. So, let's quickly, we need, um, we need to solve for one of these variables. So, y equals the, you know, a, a, por, a part on the y-axis or a coordinate on the y-axis. Now, we have that. This is where the calories go. This is the cans. All right? So, y, we are looking for 4,000 calories equals. M is the slope. The slope is the difference. It's basically our rate, rise over run. So the rise would be 140 over one can, 140 calories per can, okay? Um, actually, I'm going to do this. Forget that. I want y equals 4,000. Can't even see it. Whatever. So we have y equals 4,000. We have m will equal 140. That is, the, that is a slope. b is our starting point. 640 calories, right? We are looking for X. Okay, now do not, here's rule number one, do not start plugging numbers in until you've manipulated the formula. And we're going to do that right now. So Y equals MX plus B. We want to get 4,000 calories. We don't know how many cans that we need to drink. So rule number one, Whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you must do to the other in order to cancel out variables. Let me explain. And you cancel out by opposites. If something is being multiplied, the opposite is division. If something is being added, the opposite is uh, subtraction. So let's start here. Plus b. In order to cancel that out, we have to minus b. If we minus b from this side of the equation, this cancels out. b minus b is zero but we've got a minus b to this y. So let's rewrite the formula. y minus b equals mx. We've canceled out b. So m is being multiplied by x. So if we want to divide both sides by m, okay, this cancels each other out. The opposites cancel out. And lo and behold, I'm just gonna rewrite this, y minus b divided by m equals x. You see, this is the goal. I'm going to put a star over here. For manipulating formulas, you have to isolate the variable in question. The variable in question is x. Isolated meaning it is the only thing on one side of the equal sign. Right? So x now equals y minus b divided by m. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to rewrite this. So x equals y is 4,000. So 4,000 calories minus b, which is the starting point. We started with 640 calories of donuts. And you divide it by the slope. Divided by 140, well, this will equal 24 cans. You have to consume two cases of Dr. Pepper 
to drink your calories, which I feel as though the, is the leading cause of teenage obesity, is drinking your calories. So watch out. Dr. Pepper is quite nice, but it is quite deadly if you drink your calories. My opinion. All right? So, rule number one. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, you got to do to the other. And what you decide to do is the opposite of what is being done to the variables you wish to cancel out. You might need to go over this question again, but I guarantee you, the practice makes perfect. Here, this is you. Just a lot nicer looking, okay? Practice this, figure it out once again. You do not need to have a linear equation in order to manipulate a formula. It can be much more simple than this. But there's the example. I hope this helped.